Экипаж ответит от Москвы в канале СГ-1. ISS Moscow, on Space to Ground 1. Отвечаю. Go ahead and Space to Ground 1. Олег, добрый день. Это Соловьев. Олег, good morning. This is uh, Mr. Соловьев. How are you guys doing? Владимир Алексеевич, мы делаем хорошо. Мы пытаемся делать наше лучшее. I hear some uh, sadness in your voice. The holidays are coming up, uh, so there's really no reason to be sad. Yeah, no, it's not sadness, uh, Vladimir Alexeyevich. It's um, more like um, that we're so busy uh, starting with uh, May Day, May 1st, and uh, full speed ahead even during the holidays. Yes, Alec, we are definitely feeling the uh, brunt of the increased number of dockings and uh, flights and so on. But um, I think uh, it makes life more interesting when you have so much stuff to do. I completely agree with what you just said. But of course we are getting used to working in threesome in the same little tiny room, so um, it takes some time getting used to that. Okay, well, if you're having any issues or problems that you're trying to work out, um, please let us know, because I know that um, the morale is a little different and um, the rules are changing a little bit and you have more people uh, in the same uh, workspace and um, so if uh, you have any ideas on how to improve the conditions that um, are becoming more intense, please let us know. Yeah, definitely. We have some suggestions uh, on how to improve things. Uh, we can email them to you or we can uh, voice them down to you. It's up to you. Uh, we can do that during private uh, conferences. Um, well, it's uh, really up to you guys. So whatever is better for you is better for us, because um, if uh, something comes up, we need to resolve it as things arise. Yeah, because something needs to be done, definitely. Uh, we don't want to accumulate things and uh, not have them resolved. Right, we don't want them to snowball. Definitely, Vladimir Alexeyevich. So, in any way that is preferable to you, we can uh, set up um, perhaps a phone conference or something like that. Oh, by all means, you can call me uh, using my cell phone uh, number or any other number you have for me. Um, or if you have some suggestions now, please go ahead with those. Well, just of, for my observation, uh, about 95% of our time is spent working and uh, living in the same uh, service module space. And uh, there are really a lot of work spaces here. Um, everything is a workspace, and so pretty much uh, somebody is working and somebody is doing physical exercise within the arms reach of each other. And so even for physical exercise, whenever those are scheduled, and uh, perhaps we can discuss that with planning team, um, we um, can't get the physical exercises done if somebody is also scheduled to work in the same location. And so we either skip the physical exercise or we do them during pre-sleep, right before bedtime. So that's pretty much the biggest issue right now because the uh, productivity of um, the um, crew uh, with um, three Russian crew members here uh, versus two is a lot. Uh, lower, um, because um, we basically just um, in standby mode pretty much and waiting our turn. 
uh, to do whatever we're supposed to be doing. Right, Oleg, and uh, what I can tell you is um, listening to you, I remember back to when I was flying on Salyut 7, of course, you know, it's like a can, um, a little larger than the service module. There were three of us there. And... Uh, Everything was so crowded because we didn't have that many progress vehicles flying at the time. So I know everything was just like a large warehouse. And uh, I remember the impression that uh, nothing could be done the way it was supposed to. Because uh, if somebody was doing some physical exercise, the other person was scheduled to do some sort of medical exam. Uh, as a flight engineer, uh, I was supposed to unstow a lot of items, and so to begin with, when I was sitting among all those bags, I was just looking around at them and thinking, how am I going to get through this? And then I kind of reevaluated my values, although now you're going to tell me that it's easier for us to teach you being here on the ground, but um, I had um, a little chest pocket, and um, I had a notepad there, and um, I would um, just organize my thoughts on it, and um, perhaps um, sometimes violating some rules, I would... Um, uh, let's say, put away some bags or do some routine maintenance. And, um, of course, the other crew members were also extremely busy but with their stuff. But um, we had to overcome these obstacles, these challenges. And uh, I know that uh, this takes time away from other things that are more important. And I know it's easier to work when you're all by yourself and nobody is breathing down your neck. But um, it's also something that you have to do, and perhaps you have to imagine that you are there by yourself and uh, imagine that nobody is breathing down your back. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but it just seems like um, from what you're saying, it means that uh, nothing has changed since uh, the days of Salyut 7. I don't want to compare, but um, basically working um, by myself or working in twosome versus wor working with three people in the same little crowded space, of course, um, has its, uh, its own challenges. And uh, it kind of has to be reflected in the timeline, I think. So now we basically have three people working on the same thing that uh, it used to take two people to complete. So that's um, really just um, a regret that I have.